Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a collection video. I debated on doing this video for a very long time. Months and months and months and months. And I decided I was going to do it. I was going to share all of my designer handbags that I own. I love bags. I don't care if they're really expensive or like $5. I love bags. I have loved bags from the beginning of time. My mom loved bags. I oogled over her bags growing up and I just, I love them. <laughs> and within the past, as I've become a grown up here and an adult and a mom, I have worked hard and put my money towards a couple of high-end bags that I love and I'm going to share those in today's video. I'm not going to share my not high-end bags, my I guess less expensive bags in this video, but I can 100% do that for you guys. If you want to see a full bag collection of all of my other handbags, like I love Madewell bags. Um, I also have some bags from Mango. I have some bags that are like $30 and under. So I have a ton of those as well because I love bags. Um, so I can do that as well. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. So this video is going to be more focused on those higher end bags. Um, I get the most questions about those because it is an investment and you work hard for your money and you don't want to make a mistake in putting your money towards something that you're not going to use. And I have two bags on this video that I'm actually going to be selling because I put my money towards them and I don't reach for them and that is not the way it should be. If you buy a bag, you should 100% hold it and just mm, get so excited and love it. And that's how I feel about every single bag except for two of them, which I'm going to start off this video with sharing those because I am selling them. I thought I would share them because maybe this would be helpful whether to purchase or not purchase or whatever. So this is not a bragging video. I've worked really, really hard for these. I know you guys work really, really hard for your money and this is just what I really like in life. I really like bags. They make me happy. They're fun. And yeah, I'm going to share with you guys everything that I have. I also want to say in this video that almost every single bag I'm like looking around at my bags I have purchased secondhand um, I have not gone into except for one there is one bag that I purchased that is brand new um, I got last year for my birthday but everything else has been secondhand and I just personally have found great success secondhand at pretty much every single one that I got secondhand is in like perfect almost new condition <laughs> and I saved a lot of money that way. The only thing with that you have to be very patient and I usually save my money and then I wait and I hunt and I wait and I hunt <laughs> and then I find it and I pull the trigger. So I hope this is helpful to you guys in any kind of way and Let's go ahead, I'm gonna share my bag. So first up is a bag that I'm going to sell. Mm, it makes me sad a little bit. Both of the bags I'm selling make me sad, but I don't use them and that's not the way it should be, like I said. I buy a bag to use it, not just to sit on a shelf. Um, so it is this one right here. It is a vintage Louis Vuitton. It is a Petite Noé. And oh, I love this. Mm, it's hard, <laughs> but I just don't reach for it. I don't use it. I'm not reaching for it. I reach for other bags instead and it's just not fair to have them on the shelf just sitting there. Someone else could love this bag. Um, it is very vintage. It is from 1982 and there are very much flaws on this bag. <laughs> there are cracks in the vachetta. Um, actually the canvas is in amazing condition. The bottom is in amazing condition and the inside is like perfectly clean. Um, I actually purchased this off of a friend. Um, for a really great price and oh I love it I love it it is a shoulder bag but I think I'm ready to part with it because I just don't use it such a cool bag I love the fact that it's vintage but I want someone else to love it all right the next bag that I'm gonna be selling I'm really sad about this one too but 
I look at the two tote bags that I have in my life and this one is definitely not used. It's just not reached for it. It is not used. I've actually never shared it in like an Instagram post or anything. Um, that's how little I have used it and that's not the way it should be for me personally. I want a bag. If I put money towards it, I want to use it, and I have not. And this is such a popular bag. I feel like everybody has this bag. Um, but it is the Louis Vuitton Damier Ben Neverfull in the MM. And I purchased it. I loved it. I've used it a handful of times, but I just don't reach for it. I don't reach for it. Um, I bought it off Fashion File secondhand. Um, it was almost brand new. It did not come with a pouch though and it came with like the box and the dust bag and everything um it literally is in such good condition but i just don't reach for it i find that the neverfull is a little bit thicker it's a little more structured which might be preferable to some people but for me i just use my other tote that i'm gonna share so much more so this one I'm gonna say goodbye too. All right, next up is the tote that I love, 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 love. I use so much. It's, I have two most used bags and this is my most used tote by far. It is the Goyard, it is the St. Louis tote in the GM size. It is ginormous and I realized that I like it so much more than the Neverfull. I like that it's really thin and flimsy and light and I can put a ton of stuff in it and it still feels light to carry. So for that reason, I love it. I just love this bag so much. Um, so it's the black and gold. Um, the interior is so pretty. I have a bag organizer. Somebody asked me what the bag organizer I use is and it's way too small for this bag. I just, I had it actually for my Neverfall and I just switched it over to this one and it's a little small um i still have like a ton of space behind it um it does come with an attached pouch i bought this one a second hand and it came and i was like this is brand new um so i kind of lucked out on this one so i love it oh it's my favorite tote i own by far so yeah if you have any questions on what i think between the neverfull and the goyard st louis tote let me know in the comments down below. I can answer as much as I can. I am not an expert, but um, I can give you any advice that I feel or my opinion. Let me know. Okay, I also wanna share this tote. It is not high end or designer. It's still like a chunk of money, but I love this bag so much. So I just wanna share it. I have a ton of like my work stuff in here. This is the Longchamp Le Plage in the large version. I actually had a navy one for years and years and I of that one but I just didn't find I wore navy and I didn't like the navy as much I just wasn't wearing navy so it just didn't go with some of my outfits so I decided to purchase the black and if you're a mom this bag is amazing because it's just so wipeable it's great for travel it's great for work it's great for sticky mom life <laughs> so i just had to mention that one as well it's probably those two totes right there are some of my favorite i also love my madewell tote but i love those bags they are so awesome all right the next bag i want to share is oh, my favorite <laughs> if i i think i think if i had to get rid of every single one here and only have one this would be the one that I want. And it is the Louis Vuitton Pochet Matisse in the monogram. And everybody asks me, is it worth it? Do you, do you like it? How much does it hold? I get the most questions about this bag right here. And yes, it is worth it. I love it. I absolutely love this bag. It is my favorite. It is my most worn crossbody. It's probably out of all the bags, my most worn bag. I use it so much winging around a lot, which maybe I shouldn't. The plate here is kind of scratched. And oh, I love this bag though. It is so good. It is so durable. I love the thick strap. I love how much it can hold. It's really spacious for a crossbody bag. Um, I feel like a lot of designer high-end crossbodies don't hold that much. They are kind of really tiny really expensive. I have a couple of those, but I love how spacious this bag is. I have 
random cash. I have my sunglasses, a little wallet. I have my gloves, sunglass case, probably receipts somewhere. Um, so I just feel like I, I grab this one the most. I absolutely love it. It is my baby and probably my favorite bag in my collection. All right, the next bag I'm gonna share is the Chloe Faye bag. This is the small one, and oh, I love this bag. I have found some really great deals on Fashion File on the Chloe Faye bags. I found this one a while ago, and oh, I just love it. I wanted a Chloe Faye bag for so long. I really loved this color, and I saw this one. It was in basically brand new condition. It actually came like with the tape on it. So it came with like the tape all over it and it was over half off. So to me, that was like a great deal. I was so excited. I love the color. And to me, this is like my special bag. I wear this for special events, date nights, things like that, which ha there haven't been a lot of those this past year. But again, this is like my special bag uh, because of the beautiful suede on here. I treat it a little more delicately than some of my other bags, but I love it. It holds so much. It really has a lot of space in here. It has three compartments and a little slot right there. Um, it holds quite a bit. I would say maybe a little less than the Pachette Matisse, but not much less. So I just really love it. I love the color. It's a crossbody. Such a great bag that I love. All right, next bag. I was so excited about this bag. It is a Chloe bag. It is the Chloe Faye Day bag. And this color spoke to me for so long. <laughs> I love this one. This is the small version. It also comes in like a mini and maybe a size up from this one, but this is the small and this thing holds a ton of stuff. It holds so much stuff. It actually, I think holds even a little bit more than the Pochette Matisse. So it holds a ton in here. It's very durable. It has the most beautiful, just buttery leather. It is so pretty. Um, so this is what it looks like on the inside. It has two compartments, some little slots right here. And then what I really love is the zippered compartment in the middle. So you can kind of zip stuff up, keys, um, credit cards, whatever. I just really like that feature of it. And it holds so much. I love this bag. And I love also the fact, I feel like this is the most like versatile bag maybe um i love the fact that i can hold it top handle like this on my arm or i can have the strap and i can wear it as a shoulder bag i can wear it as a crossbody i find that i can wear it as a crossbody but i love the color it just goes with so much of my wardrobe as well so i love this bag you guys i bought the second hand um and I love it. It is such a great, it's actually my only nude bag I have here. So this is my favorite nude bag. All right, and then the last bag I have is my one that I purchased new and I bought it for my birthday last year. I bought it off Nordstrom. It is a bag that I had in my like wish list. You know how you like make wish lists? It had been in my wish list for like seven years. <laughs> I wanted this bag so bad. And I think it's like my most pinned. I think I pinned this bag when Pinterest came out like a hundred million times. And last year I decided to purchase it for my birthday. I actually had a bunch of rewards on Nordstrom <laughs> and I went and purchased it for my birthday. And it is this little guy right here. It is the Chloe mini Marcy in the gray. Oh, I love the color. The color is just like so stunning to me. It's a really great, little crossbody that it doesn't hold probably as much as all of these bags. It's probably my smallest bag, but I find that I can just throw this on. It's really durable. It fits the essentials. It fits um, my sunglasses, my wallet, my phone, my keys and everything. And I find that I use this a lot when I'm with the kids. <laughs> when I'm with my kids, I just throw this on because it's tiny. It doesn't take so much space on my body <laughs> and it's so cute. So I love this bag so much. Such a cute little crossbody. Clearly I like crossbodies or totes. <laughs> so that is all the bags I own. You guys, that is everything I own. Um, I'm actually on the hunt though for a black bag. It's something that I realized is missing in my bag collection. Um, I would really like a higher end black bag. And I don't know what that is yet. I have like a list of like quite a few and I just don't know 
what I want yet. Um, my list includes, I'll, I'll share my list with you guys. I have the uh, YSL one. I can't remember the name, but it is like puffy and like chevron quilted. I think, I think, I can't remember the name of that one though, but I really, really love that one. It's so beautiful. So that is like maybe the highest one, highest price tag one that I really love. I also really, really love the Gucci Soho crossbody. The only thing with that, I've actually gone back and forth with that one because I, I feel like it's a little more casual. It's not as dressy and I want that black bag to be easy to wear with casual stuff, but also easy to dress up. So that one's a little, too, maybe too casual. And then I also have the Chloe Faye, which I really love um, in the black, because I love this bag so much. So I don't know, I'm thinking of getting it in the black, but I'm like, that's two of the same bag and just two different colors. So I don't know, I want something different. And then I also have, it's not as high as a price tag, and I really, really like it. It's one of those, I think it's called Poline, P-O-L-E-N-E -E, um, bags, and they have a really cute black one that is a crossbody and also like a, sh like, kind of like the size of the Fade Day in a black. And I'll link those down below in case you guys want to check them out. But I'm very curious, if you have a really great black bag in your collection and you love and you wear a ton, let me know in the comments down below. I'd really love it because that is on my wish list. A black bag, not sure what that is yet. I will probably not make a purchase anytime soon on that. But that's it. So that is my bag collection. I hope you guys like this video. I hope it was informative in any kind of way. Um, and let me know if you guys want to see that other bag collection video as well. So all my other bags, I will be happy, happy to do that. Also, if you want to see any other collection videos of any other stuff I own, shoes, any kind of any kind of collection videos, I would be happy to do as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Stay and subscribe if you're not. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.